Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Niche, a genetic survival game. And in the last episode, we've had so many beautiful babies actually born in the nest, but with a little side thing. So we actually had two creatures finally, finally be born with the poison fangs in their traits. That is something we've been trying to have and trying to, oh my goodness, we've just been trying to get that out so badly for such a long time. So it's actually kind of funny that it's both creatures are nowhere near the line of Adam. They are in the line of the Bone Carriers, which is going to be Soul's line, and apparently the Harvesters. So, so both of them actually had little vampires born in the nest. So one of them is Needle and one of them is Blood because of her dark red fur. And honestly, all these babies are so beautiful and just, oh my goodness, I'm so excited. So we actually have over here up in the north, our scouts are getting so close to the port. So hopefully in this episode, we can actually get everyone to go up towards the north and actually go on to the new island. So hopefully we get that and see what the new island has for us. But for now, Crane is actually born with Coco Cherry's baby. With that, um, their genetics do line up perfectly fine, um, except for the fact that they both have low fertility. So hopefully that does not pass on to their babies. Not sure if Crane will only have one baby. She might have one right now because it's going to take some time for everyone else to get towards the north. And so she can actually have at least maybe two babies with him. But their traits actually kind of line up perfectly fine. And we're hoping that, I'm not sure, I think um, Tanu, I'm not sure if... Anyone else has the traits that he has? I take a quick look. See, I don't think anyone has I, and I don't think a lot of them have D, so no. So we do also want him to breed as well. The only thing is, he is also someone with extremely low fertility, I believe. Yeah, he has extremely low fertility, and he even has hemophilia. So I guess uh, as a final chance for some female out there, he will have a baby with someone. Maybe even if uh, Rossi could go up towards the north in time i'm not sure i doubt she can make it up to the north because she is going to be passing away in four days and he's going to be passing away i guess uh in 10 days i'm not sure if they'll be able to make it up towards the north but if that is a chance we'll actually let her go up towards the north because abandon everything hopefully risk to see if she can have a baby so we can actually hopefully have creatures with those genes passed on but everyone is out of turns um sheen is actually going to be staying right there so you can actually light up the area for souls two babies so they actually follow her up towards the north and i guess everyone already knows what's going on everyone knows that this is what's going to be happening that everyone's going towards the north to so actually start a new life so they can actually get closer or at least one island closer towards adam's home island so honestly go on with the past days actually go uh, zoom out and uh, i guess focus uh, make sure nothing's bad in the area and see if uh we're all good oh <gasps> whoa Wow, a Berryena. Oh goodness gracious, oh my goodness, they just start smacking them like crazy because they're absolutely terrified that just popped out of the woodworks. Goodness gracious, I hope that wasn't Gruff. I wonder where Gruff is, I wonder where Growl is. I mean, they kind of moved on. Oh my goodness, this is actually very terrifying. So let's see. I think Grassy only has three days left, so let's just hope that she can get across as fast as she possibly can. Uh, we'll let her jump as far ahead as much as possible. And I guess with that, we'll actually let Tanu start going down south as fast as he can. Uh, let's actually light the way up for him so he can actually just start jumping across. And hope that they can actually have a baby soon. Because, I mean, they're right here. This is actually kind of good. Oh, they can run fast. Goodness gracious. So I guess, um... Hmm. Let's get Sheen to come up north. I don't know. Let's okay. Let the babies get up north first, in hopes that we can actually get farther out north. Uh, is that is that Gruff? Okay, Gruff is still here. Okay, that's cool. He must have heard the commotion, but saw that they got taken care of it. What the heck? Someone passed away. That's a little sad that they passed away in the ocean. Oh well, it happens, you know. Okay, interesting. Interesting, interesting. So yeah, something that I want to focus before I forget is to have Crane have her baby. So she can set up over here, plant a nest down, and hopefully have a baby with Coco Cherry soon enough. And I guess Pebble is going to continue going up, um, helping all the, all everyone to kind of clear out the area. Uh, we're so close, but so far away as well. And a lot of our scouts already passed away, so hopefully that is a no-no. So we can just try to clear out before all our scouts pass away and then all the leaders have to kind of pick at it while they can. 
So I guess, um, I guess, I don't think Dan's gonna make it soon enough. Hmm. If only there was a creature with high strength. Don't think she has high enough strength. I want to see if we can get this berry bush to... I don't think it can. Are you too weak? Are you even too weak to even consider scratching up this bush? Oh, I guess Dan is going to risk his life just so he can, his babies can actually get through. Oh my goodness, this is absolutely very sad. I guess even Sheen's going to be passing away soon. He'll be passing away in a, a next day. Oh goodness gracious, I guess he's gonna come over here and explain to his leader that he's actually successful in cutting down all the berry bushes that he saw in his path. And I guess that's gonna be a little pat in the back from, from Glore. I mean, this is so sad, you guys. Oh goodness gracious. This is absolutely terrifying. It's just sad to see everyone pass away. And I guess they have one son that's gonna be left behind with them because they have decided that um, Lion and Lala are actually gonna go up north. So I guess Lion could be the one to jump into the water and kind of hopefully start making a cross. He sees a little bit... um ready to rock and roll and i guess the babies actually can just go straight across um i guess since they don't don't have the runner's legs can they there we are that's that's good enough oh my goodness i guess their parents are finally saying goodbye um dan saying goodbye he's gonna be passing away in the next day as well goodness gracious a lot of creatures are passing away soon hopefully um tanu and rossi can have a baby soon because i really don't want them to pass away and not pass on some good genetics okay Poor Kanda, she's never even gonna get a chance to have a baby, but she's honestly pretty much fine with that. She's um hurry decided not having any babies anytime soon because she her goal is to kind of clip up as much fish and food as possible, even though she was kind of a little outcast because she had the no paw. Or kind of like the deformed paw. A lot of our creatures have that, but they've been given second chances to actually prove themselves worthy to the pack. Um uh, actually having um doing jobs. Like over here, Molo has been um wandering around the territory breaking bushes just like um Sheen over here has been doing over there um, so he can actually prove himself as well to their leader that he is still useful and honestly I, I'm so I feel so sad that that's the, the storyline that I've given them but for now I guess we can get Lala to go up towards the north she has she can freaking run Jesus Christ child and I guess Sol is really kind of lumbering behind I guess she's gonna have to decide very soon and I guess even um, Glor is going to have to decide soon. So I guess he might go north with the family and kind of um, explain to them what's going on. I completely forgot that I was doing that for him. So let's see. I think that's all the turns we have left. No, I lied. Why am I lying like that? I'm sorry. I guess Coco Cherry can move up over here. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do with him. I guess we can get him over here to kind of um, watch over and Crane and see uh, if everything in the area is safe for her. Especially since... um. There's a wandering male in the area. I don't know where he went. I don't know if he died or not. I'm not sure how old he was. I wasn't paying attention. But he was really thirsty for her. I swear. Very, very thirsty. So I guess... I think that's it. Let's just go on to the next day and see what's up. Whoa. People just passing away and hitting the ground like it's nothing. Okay. Okay. Interesting. So let's get everyone who is up already fourth uh, to actually head towards the north. Uh, as soon as they possibly can, I guess these two little speedsters are just so eager to go towards the north because they can go, they can run far. But I guess Shadow can stay here and wait for his sisters as um, Needle follow behind with his sister Shade. He can play a little leapfrog over here, and they can get closer up towards the north. So I guess that's what he's gonna do for now. He's gonna kind of wait for his sisters. He's not gonna be too thirsty to go towards the north. Um, kind of falling behind is poor little Glor. He wants to be able to explain to his daughter um, the situation and his son is also falling behind as well. So let's get them to go towards the north to try to catch up. No! 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 We don't need you and your rotten genetics. Ugh. This is terrifying. Okay. So I guess we can get... Hmm. Let's let... I, I don't want them to be falling behind too too much. Let's get her to come over here. Only she could jump across. Uh, I guess he can breed with her. And let's actually take a quick look at the genetics to make sure that they are okay. So he has um, the kind of a blind eye. So let's get that out of his genetics. Um, I guess besides that, there's nothing too horrible in their genetics as well. I guess she also has the poor eyesight, so we'll do that as well. We'll let her settle down and start making a nest. 
Um, let's see. Let her do that so I don't actually get her out of the nest. And I guess um, Isa is going to continue collecting as much food as she possibly can as Sol, um, I guess, finally picks um, Blood to actually take on the, the gems. Even though Glow is the oldest one, she honestly might not even go to the next island because I might, I'm not sure if there is going to be not enough room for all of them to go. So Blood has been chosen because she does have the poison fangs and that is something that we actually really want to have passed on. But while we're at it, Dust is going to continue. Oh god. Get out of here. Stay away from my daughter. Jesus Christ, sir. Goodness gracious, we need a strong man to come over here. We need strong men. Men, help. Help. Nit, come over here. Help. Help. Help, help. Yeah! Come over here, we can fuck you up, sir. We'll do that in a second. Um, so I guess Dove is gonna come over here and collect the food that, um... Uh, Gruff has collected. I, I wonder what happened to Gruff. I wonder if he just passed away or he's just kind of chilling in the darkness. I think we'll see his... I'm not even sure if we'll even see his bones because he is not like um like our cre wandering creatures over here. He will pass away and he'll just leave me in the ground. What is... Okay, that's a mole. Oh, goodness gracious, man. I'm just... uh. So let's get um little what's-his-face over here to come over here and collect up all the berries his father has left behind. And let's get Kanda to actually collect up as much fish as she can possibly collect um, while she's still down here and kicking it. And... Oh my goodness, almost forgot. Oh, look at the baby Tata. Ta -ta. Wow, that's that's an interesting name. Okay. So they did not have Digging Paw. But they can still breed one more time. And hopes. He has two more days so she can have baby today. And then hopefully have um, a one with a digging paw. That's something that we really were hoping for. Goodness gracious. But let's see. The genetics have some interesting genetics. He have G and H. I think a lot of our creatures actually have G and H. But for now, our scouts will continue clearing out the area. And they're going to be hella excited that they're almost done with this. This is just right here. They're on the ports. Oh my goodness. They're doing it. They're doing it, you guys. Oh goodness. Oh. Let's get Kogel Chair to come over here. Uh, and then I guess that if for now, we're all still trying to make uh, migrate towards the north. Uh, we're going to have to let these males come over here to protect these females because there are a lot of females. Uh, and I don't want them to actually take on a rogue male. Did he? Oh, that, I think that was Dan. Okay. We'll just focus over here and hope that no rogue male comes out and breeds with our creatures. Okay. There you are. No! Oh my goodness. I guess Kanda's gonna have a baby then. Wow, Kanda, you're actually gonna have a baby. Oh my goodness. Wow. Interesting looking baby. He looks absolutely gorgeous as well. He has D and B. And I guess they can actually have one more baby while they're at it. She could plant a nest and she could try to dig up over here. And I guess um, Tansu can actually collect up this nest over here. Goodness gracious. Okay. While we're doing this, we need to head up north as soon as we possibly can. So it is official that Blood is going to be passing on to the next island. If not, she will have, I uh, guess, the new bone traits. It's kind of creepy that she is the one who's holding the bones. Uh, she has, uh, she's very menacing looking. But uh, the glow and um, blood are going to be heading up north as all these little kids kind of wander around in the path. So let's see, um, Glor, let's get you to come up north to explain to your daughter that she'll be um, both his daughter and son about what is going to be happening. Send them to come over here so they can sit on next to him. They can clear out the grass and the territory and then eh, just kind of communicate with him and talk about him. Okay, so let's take a look at this baby right here. Oh, he does have a digging paw. He has great eyesight. He does have good fertility. So I guess he will be passing on to the next island if need be. Um, I will let Crane be with him one more time so she can have a baby to carry on to the next island. And I guess Coco Ch um, Cherry can actually hang with the sun for now. So I guess we can collect as much food as we possibly can. Oh my goodness, this is just terrifying. Let his sisters come up north. And I guess we can come over here in case this guy comes out. We'll can scratch at him. Goodness gracious. Ugh, so terrifying. So scary. Okay. 
Oh, poor Dove got left behind. Ooh. I wonder where Grouth went. Huh. Or Grouth, my bad. Why I come Grouth and Grouth? Anyways, so let's see. Well, I didn't think Can uh, Anaconda was going to have a baby anytime soon. No! Jesus Christ, stop it. I will bite you. Oh my goodness, right at the end of it. We're just going to have to keep our noses out because these wandering noses are going to be the death of me. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's just go on to the next day. Okay. Oh God. Okay, so both the babies have both um, D and I, and I guess hopefully you can get them to go up the north. Okay, let's get her out of here before this stupid wandering male comes around. Comes around. Okay, so let's get uh, Mole to come over here and hopefully protect the area, uh, protect the females from being attacked by these rogue males. Excuse me! Fuck off! Let's get all these females to run up towards the north as soon as possible. Actually, let's get our scouts to come over here. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm just so worried that they're going to get ambushed. Um, let's get Shadow to come over here and uh, to take this area. Uh, Nunu, you can come over here. Oh, my God. It's like a little play-by-play. -play. I don't think... Um, I don't think Tantu's babies are going to make it up towards the north. So we can hope that in the future, uh, someone else will have the same genetics. So let's actually come over here. Uh, take up, clean up all these ports over here. As much as possible for the new families and so I guess everyone can start taking up some spaces so I guess crane uh, officially will be coming over here as the first one to have baby uh, or I guess the first one to go on to new ports uh, let's get all these females to go fast up towards the north all these females because there's this male just thirsty ass male I'm surprised these male um, is it even a wandering male I'm not sure if yellow yellow means I don't think it's like a bad guy. Interesting. Hmm. I don't. Yeah, I don't think um, Tantu's babies are going to be able to make it up north. Uh, I think they're just too far away, and we're already so far up towards the north, um, especially since they're really, really baby babies. Oh, we even forgot about Kanda's baby. Aww. She does have the no paw, but honestly, I think Kanda's gonna love her baby as much as she loves any other child that has the no paw. She understands how hard it is to have the no paw, and honestly, I think she's gonna love her. She's gonna try and teach her how to swim. Uh, even though she does not have the claw, she can't fish, but she's gonna teach her everything that she knows. And also, I think she loves her baby very much, even though her baby is gonna have a hard time living. And finally, this male has died! We're gonna come up here because I believe there's another one. Oh, yeah. No, he just not dead. He's still here. You're a rogue male. I hate you. I don't like you. Mm -mm. No, no. Look at all these bad traits. Short eye size, deformed paws. Mm -mm. No, no. I'm not doing that. So I guess uh, I'm not sure who we want to actually take up the the, the bluebird feathers. I'm not sure if um, Lala should because she does have the orange fur. She does have some horns, so she has strength. But I don't know. Let's see. Uh, it's kind of hard. So I guess for now we'll give them each both a bluebird feather for now, saying that they are the children of Adam, of Adam's direct descendants. And I guess between the two of them, they will decide who is going to be the leader of the pack. Uh, they might even be both leaders and just kind of continue on that line. So they're both going to be the bluebird feather holders. They're going to say goodbye to their father, and they're just going to kind of move on towards the north. I guess as the leaders of the pack, they will sit up towards the north, or I guess the farthest out, and hopefully uh, kind of continue on. So I guess Needle can come over here. This, this is just hard. I'm just worried that we're not going to get everyone to get up towards the north as soon as we want them to. Um, if by chance we, w we can bring up both his babies, we would. I just don't want to wait too long. So let's actually let her settle up here. Let's say goodbye to her sister in case there is not enough room for them. Uh, but honestly, let's just kind of go on to the next day and see what happens. Okay. 
So Shadow, you will settle over here. You'll kill this bunny. And I guess you guys can clear out all these ports while you're here. I guess uh, Nuvon isn't going to be going up towards the north. And Pebble obviously knows he's not going to go towards the north. Uh, he will tell his sister that he loves her very much. And I guess she's going to take care of him one last time before she kind of goes on. Uh, he will be, he's going to miss her very much. Uh, he was honestly, she was good to him, especially since he had both no paws and a lot of the pack members don't like creatures with the no paws. Um, they're kind of, I guess, a discriminatory against that. And I guess a lot of the creatures are going to come over here and settle down and watch all these creatures kind of pass on. So we're going to get all our creatures to come over here. And there we are. We, I think we can have one more creature come with them. And I'm not sure who that should be. Um, does anyone have F and E? Let's take a quick look and see if we have F and E. F? A lot of people have F. E? A lot of people have E. Rogue Mail, Nunu, and Lion. They have that... I guess the only traits we would be really concerned about is these two, but I don't think they're going to make it in time. Uh, we can try and ask um, Kanda's help. Actually, I don't think Kanda can actually. We can actually get Dust to come up here and actually hopefully open up the area so that both his children can actually come towards this area. Uh, the baby will take some time, so I guess we can get... Uh... Oh god, that's fine. Let dust come over here. And hopes that um, his children can actually get up towards the north. Hmm. Let's see. How many males and females do we have over here? So we have a bunch of females in here. So I guess... Well, let's name him Devil. Devil. Or Dare. Let's name him Dare, like Daredevil, because he almost kind of reminds me of the color scheme. And let's get him towards the north as soon as we possibly can. So I guess, um, for now, he's going to ask Kir du Dukata, whatever his name is, to watch over his daughter. And so while he kind of escorts his son towards the north in hopes that he can get his son um, up to the north uh, before everyone kind of leaves behind. Uh, I don't think we're going to leave him behind. There is one more space just for him because uh, we do need him. And I, I mean, we could have taken Glow, but it's already been decided that um, Blood will be the one to hold the Bluebird Feathers. And even both Lion and Lala will be the one to hold the Bluebird Feathers. And she is bleeding. Why is that the case? Can we not do that? Okay. Uh, let's get everyone to kind of collect up grass and food and all that stuff as much as we possibly can. And, and, and honestly, this is what we're going to do. Uh, you can come over here to destroy this bush right here so you can get that food. And I guess you can come over here to collect the food once that comes back up. I guess you can come over here and hopefully scratch that when you have enough turns. So let's uh, focus on everyone over here. Hopefully no one dies over here. And let's go on to the next day. Oh, goodness gracious. If I move you here... Only he had needs one more turn. Ooh, Tantu. Will you be actually able to settle on these ports as well with your son? Interesting. Goodness gracious. So let's actually focus on anyone else who's left behind so you can collect up as much food as you possibly can while we're at it. You can come over here and collect up the bushes from over here. Whoa, hello there. Oh, you poor sick thing. Let's get her daughter to come over here because I don't want her to get sick. Uh, let's try to take up this bush. And I guess Dust can come back over here with her family and actually spend time with them before um, anyone passes on. Uh, I guess while we're doing that, we're going to kind of collect up more grass in the area by anyone else who's being left behind. Uh, even you. Can you even? Not yet. No, you can't. Okay. Anyways. And then... You can come over here and clip up all these. Oh, goodness. All this grass over here. Oop, I didn't mean to do that. Attack it. Attack it. Oh, well. I guess her sister can kind of follow by this Dodomingo and try to kill it before it. Oh, there we are. Okay. And let's go on to the next day so we can get everyone to go on. 
I hope I'm not doing a huge mistake by letting this happen. Oh, goodness gracious. Let's collect this. And I guess what, well, everyone? Honestly, I don't want to risk it for anyone else. Let's go on to the next... Let's go on to the new island, you guys. Let's do this. So I'll see you guys when we get to the new island. So I guess Lion's going to do the honors. I'll see you guys there. Okay, guys, so we're at the next island. And oh my goodness, I can see that we're going to have a hard time as it is. Look at all these individual little islands. Oh my goodness. So I'm not sure uh, what opportunity this island will give us. I do know that we have to go to the one all the way up north because it is the only one that actually has, um, I guess, an another island that goes towards, um, I guess, a harder more island. I guess this one is actually the swamp island, the official swamp island. Even though we actually had an island with the poison berries, this island will be the one that actually opens the poison fangs so we can actually start putting it in our genetics. For this island, I have no idea what this island is going to bring to us, but honestly, it is intense looking. I guess this is the one we're really going to be focused on trying to get water bodies or some sort of water family going on. And our creatures are going to have a hard time because a lot of our creatures are just built for fighting and nothing else. But I hope you guys liked this episode. If you guys did, please hit the like button down below. All likes and comments are always much appreciated. And if you guys are new to my channel and like what you guys see, please consider subscribing so you guys can get updates when I post any new episodes like these. But with all that being said, you guys, I hope you guys are having an amazing day, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, homies.